Hi, it's me, Macrosolid Robot. In the previous video, I discussed the Bill of Materials tab filtering. Today, I will explain sorting and marking in Bill of Materials tab. In the Bill of Materials table, you can view the necessary data, depending on the plan task. 40 columns are planned to be used, in which it is possible to display information taken from the model, recalculated, and checked by me. One column can be assigned to display data for components, SLDPRT, SLDASM files, profiles, sheet metal, and regular solids from the cut list. It is possible to display information inferred by myself, marked with a star, and information defined in the file properties. And in the case of multi-body model solids, also information from the properties of cut elements. You can save the bill of materials table to a file as well as recreate the component structure from a file. You can sort the bill of materials table components according to the functions prepared or by clicking on the column header. The SolidWorks tree function reflects the order of the assembly structure tree in the SolidWorks feature manager. With name used in Bill of Materials, the Bill of Materials table can be sorted by the name that was adopted in the Bill of Materials. This is usually the name of the file, but you can use the configuration name or your own name. A defined material Bill of Materials name plus material can be included in the Bill of Materials name. Sorting by thickness, as well as thickness and material, is useful primarily in listing sheets metal. Sorting by the selected property and clicking on the column header enables sorting by any previously defined information. When retrieving the data from the model, the components are classified and tagged as assembly, component or part, sheet metal, weldment, profile, commercial. Sorting by type lists the components in the following order, sheet metal, weldments, profiles, purchased, assembly. And now I have something extra for you. Marking in the Bill of Materials table. It is an ability to automatically color Bill of Materials table cells, that is to indicate potential issues to be resolved. The content of individual cells of two columns can be compared by checking the entire content of the corresponding cells, checking whether A is contained in B, or whether the values in the cells of column A are contained in B. Column cells displaying dates can be marked on the basis of older than or newer than, thanks to which you can easily find PDFs from drawings older than specific date, for example a DXF from sheet metal newer than specified date. After enabling the material option, the asterisk material column will indicate whether you have defined a material and whether the material used has been approved by your company. Company material lists need to be saved in a special table beforehand. The sheet format option allows you to identify drawings with formats that do not match those defined in the sheet format macro. The column asterisk path to the file can be marked according to the path length criterion, that is the number of characters in the path. Working with files with the total length of the path and file name, including the file name extension, exceeds 255 characters and prevents operation on the Windows operating system. In the asterisk R and K column, information about the default or radius and K factor is printed for sheets. After selecting the option asterisk R and K check with the SM properties macro, a more detailed verification of these data is possible by checking according to the setting of the SM properties macro in which the R and K verification table can be defined, depending on the material and sheet thickness. If you would like to check whether a column displays specific values, you also have this option. Specify the column to be checked and the list against which it will be checked. Clever, isn't it? I still have a lot to talk about, so I invite you to watch the next videos. Bye.